The Cognitive Science Research Platform was established to enable interdisciplinary research in the field of cognitive sciences at the University of Vienna. Researchers from several faculties and disciplines cooperate to study the topics from different angles. The original idea of the uh, Cognitive Science Research Platform was um, to establish a dialogue and uh, an interdis interdisciplinary forum for researchers from various disciplines, such as uh, psychology, philosophy, linguistics, um, computer science, and many other disciplines which are involved in cognitive science. And what we want is to offer a space where this dialogue can take place. At the Department of Art History at the University of Vienna, researchers analyze how people perceive works of art. In traditional art historical writings, uh, people speak about composition. Sometimes they don't even speak about composition, but just of the way beholders will behave with the eyes while looking at paintings. And it is often said that beholders will look at paintings from the left to the right or from top to bottom. They never take into account that eyes have a very different way of moving than we often think they do. So in order to find out what really happens if people look at paintings, we set up a collaboration with psychologists and set up a laboratory with eye trackers where we measure what really happens if people look at paintings. An example for applied research are so-called enabling spaces. Our research question is how does the new come about and how does the innovation come about? And what we are interested in is establishing or creating spaces, so-called enabling spaces, um, in which uh, these processes of knowledge creation um, can be supported. Uh, we're not only talking about uh, very abstract things, but we also build physical spaces, such as in an office design or in offices. Our concept of space does not only comprise the architectural space, but also the epistemological space, social spaces, cognitive spaces and, and emotional spaces. And we try to integrate these dimensions into a, a whole concept. One example um, of an applied project in our cognitive science platform is an EU project where we cooperate with Boeing and Airbus. And what we try to do there is to understand what is happening from a cognitive perspective in an emergency case in a cockpit. The cognitive science research platform is closely associated with the Middle European Interdisciplinary Master Programme in Cognitive Science thus assuring a close link between teaching and research. A vivid cognitive science community is supported by regular activities, such as lab visits, regular research talks and annual COCSI lectures. Biologists at the Heidelhof Research Station in the south of Vienna study the cognitive abilities of birds. The focus on the, of the research on the ravens in the last couple of years have been on social cognition. We try to find out how much they actually understand about other ravens and how they use this knowledge in daily life. Uh, for instance, in collaborating with others, uh, in competing against others, in learning from others. I'm very much interested in the evolution of cognitive abilities. So why is it that we became smart? And there are several ideas why this is actually the case. And these ideas are very difficult to test when you just have a look at humans.
we want to understand the nature of aesthetic experiences, um, the difficulty is that we can't see what happens in a person. The glasses allow us to measure the eye movements, points in time and space where this person is looking. And we can analyze this and test the person later in the laboratory and ask specific questions. Some questions can only be solved when different disciplines work together. We've established uh, a number of very interesting research questions that could not be solved just by looking at the psychological part of the experience. The cognitive science platform was built and I think be accomplished to establish an interdisciplinary research cluster comprising several disciplines. I myself am a trained biologist uh, specialized on animal behavior uh, within zoology uh, but I'm collaborating very closely with colleagues within biology for instance physiologists uh, or e ecologists uh, but I'm also very much in contact with colleagues in psychology, development psychology, experimental psychology, comparative psychology, uh, philosophy of science of course and so on. From its very beginning psychology always has been interested in, cognitive, in cognition and cognitive processes um, but of course only from a rather limited perspective and the interesting thing about cognitive science is that uh, if we add some other disciplines like neuroscience or philosophy a completely new space of theories and possible models um, is opening up and that's what we're interested in.